I'm at the 2024 Victorian Caravan Camping and Touring Super Show. Now this year it is over 30% bigger than previous years and we're going to have a quick look around. Yeah, we've got some really exciting new products. Some of the key focuses for us for our Starcraft range, that's our entry level range. We want to, we want to give people you know, brand new product for second hand prices. So we've got two pop tops available, we've got a 15 foot caravan, we've got a new 17 foot caravan which we're actually launching today. So that's a single axle caravan you know, with a big rear on suite. Uh, island bed at the front as well. So, you know, they're a couple of pivotal ones for us. Also, our adventure range, that's one of our, our biggest focuses. So, battery power and solar. So, we've got a new base station as well, 24 foot with an east west bed at the front that you can still walk around at that great big rear garage. Also, if you move up, uh, up the adventure aisle, we've got a 16 foot tandem axle caravan as well. So, something brand new that we're launching today as well. And then if you move around to the left-hand side of our stand, our brand new motorhomes, we've got a 26 foot of Echo, and we've also got the pop-top roof uh, van as well. I'm with Bobby from Masterpiece. Now, one of the things to know about Masterpiece caravans is the way they build their caravans. It's very special. They use what's called the Artec construction method. Now, Bobby, can you talk about that? Artec construction is a very unique method used by Masterpiece caravans in the construction of our vans. It consists of fiberglass framing, a one-piece structural engineered floor, and air cell insulation. Nobody in the caravan industry uses this material. It's a patented material that we design and engineer and get made in uh, Europe. The one piece floor comes from Europe also, and the air cell insulation is very unique um, in its thermal properties, so giving us a fully insulated caravan, and the framing gives us the lightest framing material on a caravan. Now, I wanted to ask you about the framing material because what we have here are two samples. One is the fibroplast and one is your traditional Maranti timber. And just holding these, Bobby, I can notice the weight difference quite substantially. Yeah, it's 33% lighter than Maranti, zero water ingress properties and excellent thermal properties. So it doesn't transfer the external temperatures into your caravan as it would with timber or aluminium or a routed out sandwich panel. We've got two new models. We've got a N-Flow Cross Country and we've got a Tour X. So what we did basically is we took the M-Flow upgraded it to a semi-off-road, so it's got the independent suspension, extra battery and so forth, but the Tour X's is available in all models, and what we've done is basically made them to a foot off-road. So our Tour was always a semi-off-road, so we basically went from the CRS suspension to the XT suspension. We've upgraded with a dust pressure system, airbags are available on it, this one doesn't have it, it has an inverter system. So the Tour had a package, we've just added to that package. So this is the Millard M-Flow, yeah, so right. what are we looking at here, Terry? Right, so basically, our M-Flow model was all basically just a non-road van. So we had a lot of people saying, can you do independent, can you do this, can you do that? No, you have to go for a tourer. So there was a miss, miss in the market. So what we decided to do with the M-Flow is upgrade it. Two independent suspension, double, sorry, one slide toolbox and gas bottle is located into there. Extra, extra lithium, still the same old Millard of aluminium frame, composite roof. And there's one thing you've got to remember in the Millard, Australian made Australian owned. We had the Australian made logo on the back. I'm with Jared from NCE, and this is something you've got to want to take a look at, Jared. This is a uh, a caravan awning that's also a solar panel. Yeah, that's right, mate. So it's a full electric awning. Uh, what we have up here is literally one 1100 watt solar panel. Um, so absolutely game changer for the Australian market. Um, these things are so efficient, basically, obviously because of the design of it, and especially with the airflow under the awning. Um, apparently in high temperatures, this will give you a 10% increase on solar rather than any other system in the world. And one benefit, I suppose, Jared, would be if you've got, say, a single axle caravan with very little sort of rooftop real estate. That's right. This would be very beneficial. 100%, yeah, 100%. So you can actually get rid of some of that solar on the roof and, and if you want extra hatches or whatever. And basically the solar is on the side of your caravan when you wind it out there. I'm with Rochelle from Apollo RV. Now we are sitting inside an Adria. Now these Adrias are selling like hotcakes for you guys at the moment, aren't they? They are. There's a really super good special on them at the moment. It's because not only are they so innovative, they are so light to tow. So anyone can tow them. You don't have to upgrade your vehicle to tow them because they're so light. Yeah, I mean, there's a very good chance that whatever you've got in your driveway at the moment, you're going to be able to tow Correct. the Adria. Yeah. Correct. And people can feel secure and safe like that. Even a lady on her own, you know, can be so safe and secure to, to, to tow something like that. I'm with Daniel Salberg, the CEO of the Victorian Caravan Industry Association. Now, Daniel, what can people expect at this year's Super Show? They can expect everything, Max, really. We've grown by 30% this year, over 230 exhibitors. It's absolutely amazing. Based on what we've looked at, you know, there's 11,000 caravans and RVs on display. There's probably just as many, if not more, um, parts and accessories as well. So, quoting it all together, 130 to 140 million dollars worth of product on display right now.